Today in this video, we're making chocolate cake. What I want to share is that you don't need to be a pro baker to make this rich, yummy, and moist chocolate cake. Hello, I'm Saloni. If you're new to my kitchen, welcome. I can tell you, this chocolate cake pleases a crowd. I in fact use the reverse method to make this cake. If you want to know more about reverse methods, I have my apron ready, the ingredients are in the pantry. Let's get started. Did you know I put on you what's for dinner recipes every single week? So if that's your sort of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And don't forget, ring that bell to be notified when my next video goes live. I used to think that baking a cake for my family was something only professional bakers could do. But a few years back, I had to make a birthday cake for my kids when I couldn't order one. Does COVID tell you something? And you know what? It turned out pretty well. Since then, I have been using this easy method that makes baking a cake a piece of cake. So let's get baking. Reverse method means mixing the dry and liquid ingredients separately and folding them together. Step 1. Preheat the oven. Grease and line with parchment paper. Step 2. Mix the dry ingredients, add salt and baking powder to the flour and sift. Sift the cocoa powder over the flour, add in sugar, mix them well and set them aside. Now I am using 1 cup of sugar which I find is the right balance in the sweetness. Step 3. Mix the liquid ingredients in a separate bowl, whisk the eggs, vanilla essence, oil and milk. Give it a good whisk until it is well combined. Slowly fold the liquid mixture into the flour and cocoa mixture. Keep mixing until all are combined. black coffee. Give it a good whisk until it has a smooth texture. Pour in the mixture in equal parts and bake for 35 minutes. Allow the cake to completely cool down and turn out of the baking pan. Fourth step, decorate the cake. Mix the heavy cream and chocolate chips. Heat for a few seconds in the microwave. Mix well until it is well combined. Pour in half the glazing mixture over the first layer. If you ask me about the quantity of heavy cream and chocolate chip, truth be told, I go with my gut feeling. And here's why. When I go with quantity, it is always either too much for the cake or too sweet for our taste. step not really final i hope you give the chocolate recipe a try don't forget to let me know how it turned out for you in the comments below for more recipes on how to cook easy and delicious meals for you and your family click the subscribe button after that hit the bell icon and you'll never miss any of my future videos until then have a good one Baby, I just don't care.